It's titled, God Our Protector, Psalms 91. Whoever goes to the Lord for safety, whoever remains under the protection of the Almighty can say to him, you are my defender and protector. You are my God, in you I trust. He will keep you safe from all hidden dangers and from all deadly diseases. He will cover you with his wings you will be safe in his care. His faithfulness will protect and defend you. You need not fear any dangers at night or sudden attacks during the day or the plagues that strike in the dark or the evils that kill in daylight. A thousand may fall dead beside you, 10,000 all around you but you will not be harmed. You will look and see how the wicked are punished. You have made the Lord your defender, the most high your protector, and so no disaster will strike you. No violence will come near your home. God will put his angels in charge of you and protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands to keep you from hurting your feet on the stones. You will trample down lions and snakes, fierce lions and poisonous snakes. God says, I will save those who love me and will protect those who acknowledge me as Lord. When they call to me, I will answer them. When they are in trouble, I will be with them. I will rescue them and honor them. I will reward them with long life. I will save them. So this is the little devotional that goes along with it today. Wait to hear my will and then obey. At all costs, obey. Do not fear. I am a wall of protection around you. To see this with the eyes of faith is to cause it to manifest in the material. Remember I long to work miracles as when on earth I wrought them, but the same condition holds good. I cannot do mighty works because of unbelief. So only in response to your belief can I do miracles now. Brothers and sisters, we are in the last days. I don't know if these are months or days or hours, minutes or seconds, but I find it very interesting that today's devotional was a prayer of protection. I encourage you to read Psalms 91, to take it into your heart, to know that no matter what happens, God has his hand over everything. He has you in his hands. And whether that means physical protection in the body or not. We have to remember that no matter what happens to our bodies, as soon as we are out of this body, we are in the glory of God. I love all of you so much. God bless.
cure.